Welcome back to The Walking Dead game. When we last left off, we saw Larry hitting on the old lady that runs the place. Strange things have happened. Now I'm going to start interacting with stuff before I go up there Andy knows how to and ruin the moment. Something goes wrong, clueless about this stuff. I wonder if I saved Doug, if Doug would have taught him more about that stuff. I'll take that. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Good for chopping some zombie neck. Chopping, not chomping. Obviously, I wouldn't be eating zombie neck. Hey guys, I'm here to ruin the moment. Hope you're not having any too much magicalness. We'll uh, we'll finish talking later. Oh, you don't like Bring me, Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Maybe don't just a skosh me. different. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll get a glimpse of humanity every now and then. I guess. If you say so. We ran into some, trouble, ran into out there. some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys... They can hold their own. Yeah, they can. We met a woman at the camp. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. Because they're druggies? That doesn't make much sense. Rude, ma'am. How come you're out here? Instead of, you know. <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. How's Mark? How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. I think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, isn't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters flying against the fence before too long. Well, that's done. That was a neat conversation. Not a lot happened. Is anyone over here, I wonder? Hey, Danny. Hello. Hi. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You run this place with just one cow? How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. He really, liked, really that liked that gun. What's not to like? It's kind of creepy, that's all. No, it's just a gun. It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. He's got a gun fetish. Suspicion? That wasn't suspicious. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. He's creepy. The other brother's nice, but that guy's strange. There's the electric fence. I guess I'll go into the barn, see what I can see if there's anything I can mess with with that multi tool. Though that multi tool doesn't really look like it has more than one use, it looks just like a, a pair of scissors. Stall door? What's all this then? Feed. 
I think that's feed. Back. There's another stall door. A stall door. What's out here? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know Fuck, they are cannibals, Let's aren't go they? Let's find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Screw. Screw. And lock. Uh, I'm not gonna take the lock apart. Oh, let's unscrew it. With the multi-tool? Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Only perfectly. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what ah. I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? No, we're fine. Kenny just heard a noise. Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just... You know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. I'm not sure I want to find out what's on the other side of this door. Distract Andy to get him out of the barn. I found a multi-tool. up something I think could help with the lock. All right. Good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Something on the other side of the barn? Nothing here. Just more feed. Hmm. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Danny mentioned he needed Danny something. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. All right, let's go. I think we just blew the cover to be peaceful, though, because we just lied. Use the door. Okay. Let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Damn it. You're back way too soon, man. Andy keeps coming back. Andy, but he keeps coming back. So take him longer down to get her dead. mess with to keep him busy for a while. Motions outside of the generators. Barn. Okay. Thanks for the help, Kenny. Let's go. Am I gonna have to smash a generator? It's a little itty bitty pieces. Let's turn it off.
Alright. Something's wrong with the generator, man. Something's wrong with the generator. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Damn it. Fuck a duck, man. Well, when we come back, we'll figure out how to just do something to distract Danny. So, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Thanks for watching.